Good morning, everyone. We're out here on the lake. We're set up in our spot, hoping to get on some channel cats, see if they're coming out of spawn on this lake. Uh, they definitely were pooping eggs last time we were here, uh, which was probably about three or four weeks ago. Hopefully we can see if they're coming out of spawn. Hopefully we'll get on a few today. Uh, if you can hear the construction behind us. <laughs> so let's get on them. It's hot, very hot today. We might have to go into deeper water to catch some fish. Uh, we're gonna find out though. Come with us. There's definitely something playing with it. He's cruising. Do you see him? I don't even. I don't even think he knows he's hooked yet. Probably. Now he does. <laughs> now he does. That's a nice one. And he's coming right at the boat. It's the way we like it. Right? Oh yeah. Somebody's awake this morning. Getting the boat all wet. Holy cow, dude, just relax. I want to take a picture with you. <laughs> Heck yeah. Nice. Look at that belly. Dang. That's a beefy one. We're gonna do something today. I want to weigh every fish we bring in the boat. Kind of get an idea of what a day would be on the water. Come here. She's got belly. Angry. <laughs> Hold on. I'll get the hook out. Chonky belly. She is spitting eggs too. We really? Gotta, yeah. We gotta hurry up and get her. Oh. Back. Yeah. These fish are definitely on spawn, y'all. But apparently they're still biting. I'm gonna hold her butt. Maybe it'll keep the eggs in. Right. <laughs> Look at the marks on them. See them? Yep, and spawn. Just relax, dude. I'm gonna put you back in the water. All, All right. right. Beautiful fish. Hear that fin too. She's got a chunk taken out of there. We're gonna go ahead and get a picture real quick. Get her back. Put it back in the water. All right, beautiful seven. 0.91. 7.91 pound fish. We're gonna oh. weigh them today. I wanna see what it'd be like there to get a bag go. limit out of here. So, let's get this fish back in the water from that new mag cat scale. Make sure you always have a hold of your fish grippers. These fish are crazy. See my point? And she's gone. gone. Heck yeah, there's one fish that was on the body piece of bluegill. I also have chicken over here marinating in Kool-Aid, but it's a little too frozen to put out yet. Got that cherry chicken cool. Actually, it's kind of thawed. It's pretty humid out here. Might have to put some of that on soon. It's almost 80 degrees and it is seven o'clock in the morning. Yes. <laughs> Ohio is experiencing a heat bubble. The fish are on spawn. That's That fish was definitely pooping out eggs. We've got fresh live bluegill that we're bonking on the head, throwing out. We're in four and a half feet of water. That one there doesn't have a peg float. I've lost a lot of my leader line as well. So don't be afraid to throw stuff the way you have it. I should have just retied it, but that wouldn't be fun. Got rods every direction. These monster rod holders allow you to have so many different angles of access. So that when you're super close to the lily pads on one side, like we are over here, but you can still throw that direction off the boat and Allison can still be throwing that way as well and not into the lily pads. Yep, I'm throwing right off a trench. Where, yeah, there's a deep spot off to this side where the boats have kind of wore the inside of the lake. You can see it on the sonar and uh, the fish seem to move right through there looking for food. So, and they seem to move around these lily pads looking for food as well in these shallows, even with this heat. I'm not sure what the water temp is, um, probably pretty warm. Some of them are probably laying eggs. Some of them are That done. one definitely was pooping eggs. Like literally there, there was eggs in the boat. I was trying to put them back in the water. Um, so hopefully we get a few more. Just trying to see what these fish are doing, seeing what kind of bag limit I can get while the spawn is on. See how well we can do. Let's go. <laughs> Did you see that? You got it. <laughs> we were just talking about moving too. And the fish are always like, Will, are you sure? He's running at the boat. Like straight, he's running at the boat.
<laughs> oh dear lord, what are you doing, man? Alright, hold on. Got him. All right. Fish number two. We're still in the same spot. Like I said, we were just talking about moving. Alright, come here, guy. Flop all over the boat. Just relax, my dude. Get the hook out your face. <laughs> Early morning fish, fish flap for you. Yep. Got himself kind of in the eye because he's little. Let's see. Get the hook out you. Sometimes it's easier with your hands, sometimes it's not. Hold on, buddy. Struggle a little, you know? Why not? Did you know those hooks don't want to like it? Yep. Trophy can't see hook right in the corner of the mouth where it's supposed to be. Got it. Right there. Relax, little dude. These little guys are always angry. Let's see if he makes three pounds real quick. Tomorrow we're doing a live tournament. And any fish over three pounds, so let's see what he weighs. Alright. Alright, zeroed. I'm 30. Oh, relax. Tear to the grips. Wait for the beat. 4.14. So he is. <laughs> so he would count. So now we've got a 4.14 and then a 7.9, 7 I think. Yeah, something. But I got him written down. Number two. We're trying to, like I said, see what a bag limit would look like today, and we're probably still going to move spots here soon. There's not too much fish activity. Um, the water's already 80 degrees. Yes, it is super warm over here, but like I said, we're in 4.5 feet. The lake gets much deeper that way, so we might head that way, and there's some lily pads on the other side that usually hold some fish. So, let's get him off of here. Like I said, always hold on to your fish grippers. That's why. And thank God it's 80 degree water, because it's nice and cool feeling. Whenever you want to let go, buddy. I know that's the worst part. Waiting for their, <laughs> them to let go of your fish grippers. You got my glasses all wet. Yeah, we got the camera too. <laughs> Don't worry, I got my trophy cat slime rag. Yeah, maybe we'll get a train bite too, because there is a train here too. Yep, which is the other set of lily pads I was talking about. <laughs> you got, you got me all, all wet. Yeah. But, like I said, it's it's hot this morning already. It's probably already high 70s this morning. We are just trying to see how the fish are moving. The tournament tomorrow will be from 8 to 1. It's kind of what we're going to fish today. See how it goes. Uh, we've got two fish in the boat. Like I said, one at 7 pounds, one at 4. Um, I don't know if this is the lake we're going to be fishing tomorrow. We might fish a different one. Might go up to the bay. Yeah, it's supposed to be gnarly wind tomorrow, though. I don't know if I want to risk that. 26 mile per hour wind gusts up on Lake Erie with a south wind. I don't know. And our fish was 7.91 plus 4.14, which leaves us at 12.5 right now. 12.5 bag limit For so far. Fish. Let's see if we can get even more in. Hopefully Allison will get on some fish too. Juicy bluegill head going back out. Just move spots. Marked a couple. See if we can get them to bite. We are in about five, six foot of water. Sitting here, passing out there. It's about seven, eight on a drop off there. See if we can get them. Yep, that's the chicken titty and cherry Kool-Aid, which is just chicken breast and cherry Kool-Aid. 
it really seems to firm up the chicken. I literally do not know how to explain it to you. This chicken is actually firmer because of that. It's been marinating overnight. It was still a little frozen this morning, but look, all cherried up. Let's get this out here and let's see if these fish want some of it. I've had really good luck on this lake with this specific mixture, but if you want to use it, just remember this is what your fingers are going to look like for the next week. Yep. You could use gloves. When we use about a pack per two chicken breasts too on top of that. Yeah, we do, yeah, a pack of Kool-Aid. No way. Babe, I just casted that. No There's no way. That has to be a bass. Holy Babe, cow. Babe, that has to be a bass. On the trophy cat rod. Or it's a catfish and he caught that Top on the sink water. Down. Babe, I've never seen anything like what just happened. Holy oh, crap. I'm gonna reel this pole I was gonna say, bit. babe, will you should make sure you got the net? Yeah. Because if it's a bass, I don't want it to get away. I got the net. I mean, even if that was a catfish, like... That's gotta be a catfish, it is. No way. On the chicken, Diddy. That was instant. Got and he's it. a porker. No way. Babe. <laughs> chicken Diddy. For the win. <laughs> Insta win. Like, are you serious? That was the quickest like, bite we've ever had. Did you, like, if, if we didn't get that on camera, <laughs> like, no one would ever believe me what just happened. Hold on, let me get him. No. He's all so stuck in the net. Of course. Wow, <laughs> what a weirdo. Okay. That was the coolest thing I've ever had happen. Hold on. Okay. Insta bite on the chicken titty. No way. Like, <laughs> holy crap. Can you still see the chicken? He just pooped. Yeah, he did. Oh, man, okay, he stop, stop, pooped. stop. <laughs> Bro, stop. You're shitting all over my boat. <laughs> Sorry for the swear words. Oh, man. He swallowed that chicken, though. That was gnarly. He wanted that chicken and cherry Kool-Aid. Like, I swear, if we wouldn't have been recording, no, no one would believe joke. that. That has never happened before. That was insane. I marked fish when we came over here. Apparently, they're <laughs> definitely hungry. Bro, just relax. Stop pooping. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clean poop out the boat now. It's all right. It's totally worth it. <laughs> For that, yeah, especially. Come on. He got that hook good. Yeah. That chicken titty is gone. <laughs> he no swallowed joke. it. He got his meal, don't worry. That was literally the craziest thing I've ever seen. We have never done that. You literally tossed that out. That was almost yeah. top water. Like, that was insane. Wouldn't have believed it, like I said, if we wouldn't have caught it on camera. Dang, and he got that hook so good, he wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> I bet. Okay. <laughs> Relax, dude. Of course, I got to fight the whole time. It was more than I didn't want him to like fling poop back the other direction. <laughs> got the it. Cat hook is hooked though. You already pooped everywhere. You done? No. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me dip him. That was crazy. Look at the belly wow. on that sucker, too. That's a big fish. Look at those spawn marks. Oh, yeah. On the head. Let me come out a little bit. Out of the bin. Wow. Chicken titty bite. <laughs> Let's hope that keeps happening. Insta bite. Now that I have poop all over me, all over the boat. Oh, yeah. Like, look at this. This is... That's all catfish poop, All bro. poop. Every bit of that's poop. He's trying to tail slap me. Here, can we weigh him real quick? Let's yeah. add him to the... Heck yeah. The I cannot believe that. <laughs> That was like that the was the coolest thing, thing I've ever, ever had happen. Get the scale ready. Zero. All right. Here. Got it. Hold still, buddy. Hold still, buddy. We'll go with 8.8. .8. Oh, there it goes. 8.86. Heck yes. Hold that thing up again. We're gonna grab a few pictures. Heck yeah. And then we're gonna let this fish go. Nice job. That was crazy. <laughs> it was. For real, 
Do not be discriminating on the chicken. Like, yes, we put out a video last and the bluegill definitely won, but these fish like that chicken when they want it. And uh, this lake specifically, they seem to like it with the cherry Kool-Aid. So, and that is fish number three, which leaves us at 20.91 pounds. For heck free yeah. Fish. Look at that beautiful channel. Eight pounds, beautiful fish, straight on the top water with that chicken titty. It's like a baby, eight pounds. Yeah, no joke, it is a baby. <laughs> Newborn baby. Insta bite on the chicken, cherry. I say, all you gotta do is let go. Kitty. There we go. <laughs> now that you pooped all over my boat, all over my yeah, feet. You made a mess. You're covered in poop. Yeah, I know. Poop well, feet. that's what we got slime rags for. I'm gonna take one of these slime rags and probably wet it and clean up a little bit. Cause that was Let's crazy. Let's go. <laughs> We're at a, what, 21 pound bag? You said 20 pounds, something like that yeah. bag limit already. Yep. So. Like for I said, we're just, fish. we're just fishing this like a tournament to see how it would feel. New spot, insta bite on the chicken cherry. Yep. Let's go. That was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> I gotta get me some more chicken titty on there and put it back out. That was gnarly. <laughs> see if you can do it again. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Yeah, there's definitely a fish. <laughs> nice. It's okay, you're good. Go ahead, just keep reeling, you're good. He should go hopefully under it. Yeah, 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 you're good. Yes. Guess what that's on? It is a another, another chicken titty. Yep, kitty. I didn't think about it till now. He is fighting you like crazy. Well, that would be number two. On the chicken titty. Yes. And what number four in the boat? Yep. Ooh, he's not ready. <laughs> he is mad. Very mad. Got him in the net. All right. Heck yeah. Hold on, dude. <laughs> he said, oh no. <laughs> they got me. Yes. With that chicken titties. Yes, we did, bud. And you are all kind of twirled up in that net. They always like to do that crap. Such buttheads. <laughs> all twisted, too. Oh, now you got the net and the okay, fish grippers. I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> I was gonna say, here, hold on. Might be able to just through the hook. <laughs> All right, here, hold on. Oh well, now he's out of the net. Yeah. Well, there's one problem. There's solved. one problem solved. <laughs> they usually help you with some of it since they help get you into it. Right. I would just yeah try to unhook it. Yeah. There you go. All right. They like that chicken. Yep. And he with ate it. Cherry Kool Aid. Yeah, it's gone every time. All right, number, fish number four, number two for the chicken, chicken cherry. Yep. Kool-Aid. Nice. Good fish. Hammered that thing. He's yes, got he did. A little bit of spawn, not too much. None of these guys' chins are tore up or anything or have real hardcore, like, Spawning spawn marks. marks or anything. Here, we'll go ahead and weigh him and add him to the yep. bag limit. Keeping a tally in my phone. Okay, go ahead. Just want to weigh you. Get, get a, a picture, picture and you can go back. Yep, you can be on your way. Probably about like six pounds. 5.53. 5.53? Yep. Okay. We're at 20 point something. I'll add that up. So. And we'll get a tally together for so you. We're at 25 pounds of fish. Heck yeah. For four fish. I'll steal this. Get a <laughs> picture. Let's get this guy back where he came from. Beautiful, another fish. Let's get him back in the water, back where he came from. These guys are spawning, especially we like to take extra good care of them, get them back real quick. So they can go back to doing their thing, having babies so that we can keep catching fish in the future. That's right. All you gotta do is let go, bud, and you're a free fish. It's like, are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, nice and yeah. graceful. What a beautiful fish. Man, that water is warm. 80 degrees. 80 degrees in the water. It's probably about 80 degrees out here. It is humid. We are sweating, but we're catching fish. We're catching fish. 
Okay, something's planned. Yeah, I can see that. See if he wants to take it fully. That's a bluegill piece. Is it? Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, there. Yep. 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 He's there. Okay. He doesn't feel too big. Or he just doesn't know he's hooked yet. Nah, he feels okay. Probably another like six, seven pounder maybe. This is on that bluegill piece. Another little angry guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they act a fool sometimes. One seven. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna crack it, I'll roll, and there's nothing too. you can do about it. Every time. Come here, buddy. Say it's not too, too bad. One second. That works. He's getting himself all wrapped. Now nah, he's maybe like four or five pounds. Yeah. Fish is a fish. Yep. And we're gonna add him to our weight. Why are you trying to smack me? Relax. Picture weight release, bro. That's how this goes. He's like, no, wrap myself in my in all your line. That's how this goes. Okay. Found himself right in that corner of the meat where it's supposed to be. Right inside. You want some good quality tackle? Trophy cat. Every fish that we brought in this boat for over a year now is on trophy cat hooks, trophy cat peg floats, Trophy Cat Rods. The line we are using is True Braid, but everything else is Trophy Cat. That's how we bring in all these fish. And that is fish number five. So let's get a weight on him real quick, see if he qualifies. He looks like he's over the three pound mark. Yeah. He looks like he's about four. Look at the spawning marks. Four and a half. Do oh, you yeah. see that? The red marks? His belly's red. It's he's next. Probably about like four. Picture sure. weight released, buddy. Four point four three. So yep, you were right, baby. Four point four three. I don't know if you I know it's so hard to focus on there. Okay. Four point four three. Would you relax? Which adds to our total. We are at thirty point eighty seven pounds of fish for five fish. Nice. Does this turn off on its own? Yeah. Oh there it goes. Sometimes yeah. <laughs> if you leave well, it'll turn off. We'll go ahead and let him go. I'm not worried about pictures. Just a little guy. Look at that spawn mark on the top. Do you see it? Yeah. They're definitely spawning. Some of them, yeah. This looks like a little male. Look at that little swollen... Little dome. ...puffy head that they get. Dark dome. Grab my fish grippers good because these guys literally like to try to take stuff that isn't theirs. Whenever you let go. Look at that spawn marks on top of them. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. You just let have go. to let go, Sully. Let that go. was on the fish. That I don't have anymore. So I might just put a piece of chicken on there. See what happens. Yup. Heck yeah. Keep adding to the weight. Definitely a fish. Ooh. Didn't get off that time. I hope it's not a turtle. It's acting like a turtle. Oh gosh, babe, you're literally phenomenal for that. Is that fish? I don't think so. Or is that the chicken? Ah, uh, this is fish. Oh, okay. That's a lot of head shakes. I think it's a turtle. I don't know. Just bring them in. We'll figure it out. If it is, it's a snapper tur it's a snapping More turtle. I don't know if it's an alligator or just a regular. We'll find out though. I don't think we've ever caught a soft shell out of here. No. It's like totally a turtle. Very turtley. I hope you're wrong, I'm not gonna lie. If that's a fish, that's the weirdest fish I've ever caught. We found something. I hope I'm wrong too, but... Oh no, it is a catfish. Yeah, no Just a way. big one. That's weird. A big channel. That did not feel like a catfish bite at all. He was just fighting really hard. Yeah, that's a big channel and big male. Got him. Nice. That was so weird. On the bluegill head. Alright, I'm struggling. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get him out of there before we 
gets himself all yeah, caught up in the net like the rest of them like to do. Nice channel, baby. Well, I mean, number six. I'm glad it was a channel cat and not a turtle because, like I said, that was the weirdest bite catfish bite I've probably had ever. Totally, I feel like a turtle. You're gonna slap me for saying that. Not a turtle. Right in the corner of the cheek meat on the bluegill head. Yep. He tore that thing all pieces. Heck yeah, though, babe. That was your booty yeah. on the pole. A little too close to the back of the boot. Probably about another four, four pound I'd fish. I'd say so. Four and a half, maybe. Maybe. Look at the scale wait. for you. The little guys. Just adding them up for fun today. Testing for our tournament tomorrow. Don't see what kind of bag limit we can get. Yep. Especially with the spawn going on here in Ohio right now. All right, let's see. 4.78. 4.78, and we'll add that to the tally. Heck yeah, babe. We're at over 30 pounds of fish now. But yeah, we don't have to get a picture of him. We'll just toss him back. Okay. Another little four pounder. Good to see, good to see. Very. He was feisty. Man. I can't believe that was a catfish, though. Totally thought that was a turtle. <laughs> He's like, I'm soaking the camera, I'm soaking everything. He said, I'm going to show you turtle. Right, here, let me wipe you off real quick. <laughs> All right, there. <laughs> nice. yep, another four and a half pounder. Yep. Six fish. So, um, yeah, we'll add that up real quick, get a total weight. That's That'll put us over 30 pounds, so. For sure. Keep See on going. More. It is getting hot. It is humid out here, but don't let it fool you. You can still come out here during spawn, during the heat of the day. This water's over 80 degrees. Still catch fish. We're catching fish. Let's catch some more. He was taking drag. Hopefully he's not in that egg. Yeah, he's over it. Now I just need to keep him out of it. <laughs> Got him. Number seven. Number seven. And he's hooked barely. Nice. In the west. Do you see his black tail? What is wrong with his tail? He might have pooped down the Is that poop? I don't know. I can't tell. Hold on. Let's get him out of here. Hold on one second. Got that weight in there. There we go. There we go. Nice. That was totally on your rod. That's what I was expecting to happen. <laughs> no, oh. he has the black. Is he milling it? Yeah, look at that. He is. That's Wait, kinda cool. Let me see your tail. Okay, hold on. <laughs> is it on just one side? It looks that way. That's Ooh, super cool. It's like hard lumps. Is it? Yeah. Like oh wow. You can somewhere. feel it. Is it yeah, oh he's got some on Some on the other side. side. On a bunch. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. That's awesome. Well we'll get some pictures of him. Yeah, for sure. That's weird. I wasn't expecting it to be like textured. Yeah, like that. Huh. I was looking at it when I pulled when we pulled him up. I was like, what is that? Heck yeah. Oh look, he's got a little freckle on his face too. Huh. Cool little channel. Heck yeah. Another fish. We're gonna put him in fish grippers real quick, get a weight on him, and then we're gonna take some pictures of those spots. For sure. Then we'll get a release of them. If you'll hold still, let me say if you cooperate. We are locked in at 5.68. As I say, he looked a little bit bigger than the four pounders. Yep, 5.68. Which leaves us at 41.33 pounds. With that beautiful black markings on his tail. Heck yeah. So cool looking. So you can't see it under really the bimney. Let's get some pictures though real quick. Yes, let's do it. All right, let's get this pretty fish back in the water. Let's call him Freckle. <laughs> As he runs into the boat and does a head dive. 
Nice fish though. Beautiful See you later, fish. freckles. Getting ready to move spots. Of course, got another fish. That's how it always goes. Beautiful fish though. That was on the fish as well. Body piece. So we got a little bit of everything out there for them to chomp on. That's right. See if we can get some more fish. 40 pounds and seven fish. 40 pounds and seven fish. So hopefully we can just pull out a bag limit like that tomorrow and just keep putting the fish on the board like we're doing today. And having fun. And having fun. That's what it's all about, having fun. Oh yeah, he's there. Yep. Nice. This would be fish number eight. I'm yep. Get it on the boat. Grab the net. Crazy fish. And this is on bluegill. No, I think it's the chicken. Is it? Yeah, oh, I think it's chicken. On, yeah, I had two with cherry chicken on them. He's going all the way next to the boat. And the weight's stuck. Yeah. That's that one that's messed up. I gotta retie that tonight. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I'm trying to get it to float. Just keep reeling, it'll pull. It'll push it down. There he is. And there goes my cherry chicken Kool Aid. Yep. All right. I don't know if he's gonna go three pounds. Oh, uh, he might not count. I don't know. He may just top it. it. What they just have to be just over anything over three anything pounds. over three pounds. Okay, he might be. We'll weigh him real quick. Got some. Yeah. Might be a little two and a halfer. He might be three. He might be just over three. Pushing. Put him in the fish strippers, and we will find out. Yep. There goes it. Chicken Kool Aid. <laughs> Little dink. Hey. For the tournament tomorrow, anything over three pounds. Anything counts, over, so. yep, three pounds. Right. Got it? Yep. Let's see. Be way over three. Stop, buddy. Hold still. <laughs> He's like, you're not weighing me. Gotta lock in, bud. Really? Okay, buddy, stop. Well, that's so good. This is ridiculous. 3.32. Guess we can go with 3.32. This guy ain't gonna quit. He's over three, so. That's what it's trying to lock to every time, 3.32. Yeah, well, he's over three, so. 3.32, that's what we'll go he with. He wants to go uncooperative, we can do that. <laughs> 3.32, that's what we'll go with. Slimy stickers. We're just gonna toss him back in, he's tiny. That's fine. Toss him in. Well, everyone, we're back at the boat ramp. Apparently what those catfish were pooping out was some type of seed. I'm not sure what, or if they're pebbles. Yep. They look like seeds, kind of. I don't know. Channel cat poop, right? Well, that was all for today. What, we ended up catching? Seven fish. Seven fish at? Over 40 pounds. Over 40 pounds, 
It was a lot of fun. It's really hot here in Ohio today. It's already 89 degrees. It's gonna end up being 93. Ooh, I'm sweating. It is hot. Okay, we so, got seven fish at 41.33 pounds exactly. So, but tomorrow we're gonna definitely change it up. We're gonna try somewhere we've never been. We're gonna go ahead and go to Lake Erie and we're gonna go to the Sandusky Bay area and see if we can catch a bunch of channel cats so that we can get up on the board and hopefully have even a bigger bag than that tomorrow, hopefully. So we're gonna have the smorgasbord set up for them though. Freaking every bait you can imagine, I'm gonna try to have, so. And we're in but, the middle of spawn, yes. strawberry moon, Full and moon. 90 degree weather. So yep. we'll see what happens. See if we can get it done. But this video will come out after all that happens anyway. But if you want to watch that footage, go back to Fields to Water's page on YouTube. And you can always watch that footage. Thank you all, though, so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. My name is Gabby. Allison behind the camera. Benoit Fishing Outdoors. Let's go.